welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be five simple ways that you can make your house or apartment or wherever you call home more inviting. So right now my house is really crazy because we are remodeling it and it's almost 100 years old. So there is a lot to do. We have paint samples all over the walls, cabinet doors that have to be redone, floors that need to be redone. We've got to get furniture for almost every room. It just feels really unfinished. So I've really had to hone in on some simple ways that I can make my house feel more like home so that I do not go crazy. So here are my top five tips for making your house more inviting. Okay, so my first tip is to incorporate fresh flowers. This is something that a lot of people don't think to do. Maybe they think it's gonna be too expensive or too hard to keep the flowers looking nice, but I've found that it's actually really easy and most of the time doesn't cost me much more than maybe a latte at Starbucks would. I like to just go to my grocery store. I shop at Publix and oftentimes they'll have awesome bundles of flowers for under $4. I love to get spray roses, sunflowers. This week I got tulips. Really just whatever you think is going to look pretty in your house. And when you get the flowers home, you don't have to put them in some sort of amazing vase. I have this right here. I love to put my flowers in this. It's just a jug from Stone's Throw Brewing Company in Little Rock, which I love because the neck of the bottle is Skinny, so it helps the flowers stay together, helps them stay arranged nicely, and it's a little piece of my Arkansas home here in Nashville. So I encourage you to look for something kind of unique and creative to put your flowers in. Make sure you trim the stems and keep the water fresh. And I like to re-trim the stems a little when I change the water, and I think that keeps them looking nicer longer. So definitely think about putting flowers in your house. I think when you walk in a room and there's flowers, it just makes the room feel so much better regardless of what else is happening with the decor in there. Okay, so my second tip is super obvious. I almost hesitated to even put it in here, but I think it's important and that is to just incorporate candles. Probably you've bought like a Yankee candle before. They have tons of scents, but I encourage you to get some candles that are unique and that have smells that maybe aren't just your everyday candle smell. This right here is one of my favorites. If you have ever been to Anthropology and just walked in and thought, I never want to leave this store because it smells so amazing, this candle is why. It is called Capri Blue and it seriously smells intoxicating. So definitely check this one out. And then another brand that I think is so awesome is the Himalayan Candle Company and they have hand poured candles that are in really unique smells and they're also in really pretty containers. I love a candle in a pretty container because then it adds to the room even if you don't remember to light it. So candles. Okay, so my third suggestion is going to be to add to or change out some of the soft items in a room. And what I mean by soft items are things like a rug, although that's kind of more of a commitment, or a throw blanket over the edge of your couch, or my favorite thing in the world, throw pillows. I know when we lived in our house before in Arkansas, I felt like our living room was just kind of blah, despite being pretty furnished. And then we had these throw pillows made. So bright, crazy floral fabric, and it just brought the whole room together and made it look awesome. And then my favorite thing right now, I'm seeing these everywhere, are these pillows that say things. This one says, life is beautiful. And I just love the way that it looks in the room that it's in. I think it adds so much personality and I get tons of compliments on that pillow. I got that pillow at Bliss Home Decor in Nashville and I think you can also get it online. By the way, anything I ever show in my videos that has an online link, I will put in the description box below so that you can also find it. So, if you need to make your room just look better and have more personality and maybe more color or design, throw pillows. Okay, so my fourth suggestion is going to be to incorporate books, specifically hardback books. 
I love to read. So I have a lot of hardback books. And honestly, instead of buying all my books on my Kindle, I actually do make a point to buy some books in hardback because I think they're just so much fun to decorate with. When you get a book and you take like the plastic or paper cover off of it, a lot of times you'll find that it has the most interesting color and texture. And I think that it just adds so much personality and depth and intrigue to a room to have books. And you can take your books and stack them like horizontally and put maybe like a candle on top, or you can stack them upright on a shelf or horizontally on a shelf. And then one of my very, very favorite things to do is to color code books. And my friends, Brandon and Rebecca, have this awesome color coded bookshelf in their house that I'm seriously obsessed with and want to copy in my house. And they have kindly sent me a picture, so I'm going to put that up right here so that you can see it. I think their bookcase is amazing. And so yeah, definitely consider adding books to your house. And if anything, it'll make you look smarter. Okay, so my last suggestion is going to incorporate several of the suggestions that I've already made, and that is to just create a little vignette in your house. And what that is, is just an area where you have a collection of items that you've arranged in an interesting way. So all you have to do is get things that you may even already have around your house. Books, candles, flower arrangements, little figurines, globes, anything like that. And you just find a surface, maybe a coffee table, end table, console table, and you arrange the items in kind of an artistic way. Um, I like to make sure that I have items of different heights so that it just kind of makes it more interesting. The vignette thing that I have in my house right now is my coffee table arrangement. And that's just a couple books stacked up with this little globe candle and then my flower arrangement and I think it just adds a little bit of intrigue to my coffee table and to my living room. So definitely consider creating a vignette in your house and if you'd like some ideas for really interesting ones I have linked in the description box below an article that I found on Pinterest with lots of ideas for how to do that. So be sure to check it out. Okay, so those are all of the suggestions that I have for you today. And I know a lot of these things have been kind of obvious, but I think sometimes we just need reminders of obvious things that we can do to make our homes feel a little bit better. And I know that these things have been really what's keeping me sane in my chaotic house right now. So I hope that these suggestions have helped you or inspired you. And I would love to hear in the comment box below things that you've been doing to kind of make your house look a little bit better. Make sure you share those with us. And if this video was helpful or you liked it, thumbs it up and then make sure you subscribe if you haven't because I'm going to have more videos coming soon.